This is the episode that you have all been waiting for. Yes, it is the next chapter of the adventure. We are heading to the United States of America. But if you're new here, this is the perfect opportunity to take a quick look back at the past two years. In January 2020, we said goodbye to family and friends, jumped into our 17-year-old camper van and set off on an adventure to attempt to drive all the way around the circumference of the planet. Jumping on a ferry, we waved England goodbye and spent the next three months driving across Europe. We found some great camping spots, met lots of local people, ate delicious foods, got caught in snow, and helped random people. We'd planned to spend three weeks driving along Turkey's Black Sea coast before heading into Georgia and Russia. Whilst in Istanbul, the borders around us closed. COVID had caught up with us. There's a couple from Shropshire who set off on a round-the-world trip in a camper van now find themselves trapped in a deserted public car park in Old Town, Istanbul. I think they're going to need that sense of humour. The car park became home. We made friends with neighbours, had 17 TV interviews, grew vegetables and settled into car park life. We learned firsthand about the kindness of strangers. After 95 days, we left the car park and with borders still closed, we went on an epic road trip around Turkey and Georgia. We drove all the way from the Greek border to the Georgian-Russian border. We visited the touristic west coast of Turkey to the far eastern corners, from the Black Sea coast to the Mediterranean, where we opened a turtle rescue center. That is another story. We drove on some of the craziest roads that we've ever been on, found the most isolated park-ups, stayed in remote mountain villages, discovered serious amounts of delicious foods and some not so delicious foods. Uh, Kokoresh is sheep's intestines. The texture is quite weird actually, the more I chew it. And embraced local cultures. We visited 14 countries and drove a whopping 25,000 miles. And Trudy had to go to the garage seven times. With borders still closed, we decided to do a handbrake turn and go the other way around the planet. So we shipped Trudy back to the UK where she got some much needed TLC. I ended up having emergency surgery, but now we are ready to head to America. Anyway, enough talking. We have a flight to go and catch. Goodbye, Mark, brother-in-law that's looked after us and Goodbye. let us stay at his house for far too long. <laughs> so after an hour, we have arrived at Heathrow Airport. We are super excited. Yay! Marianne has to carry the bags, unfortunately, because of my op. So she's all loaded up, Girl but we've cow. only got the one bag. What an exciting day. So we are bright and early this morning. We have hours until the flight. So we've stopped off for a cup of coffee <laughs> to try and wake the brain up because we got up at half four this morning. Who knew there were two half fours in a day? <laughs> we've made it through security and uh, all good. We've come down here because we want one last English breakfast, or I do, before we head to the States for potentially could be quite a while before we come back to the UK. <laughs> so coming through security, we used an app called Verify, which actually made the process a whole lot easier because what we did was we uploaded our vaccine records and our PCR test. So when we arrived at the check-in, all we had to do was show our passport, which compared to the last flights we've done was a much easier process. So go check it out, Verify not sponsored. This aircraft has been sanitised prior to commencing boarding. 
some more, some very strong jet streams uh, over the Atlantic. We're trying to avoid those. So the captain has just said it might actually be a little bit of a bumpy, windy ride. <laughs> we actually have the last two seats right at the back on the plane. And the reason is because I like to sit on the aisle, but we need to film out of the window. <laughs> and this is the best of both worlds. Two seats right at the back. How cool is that? Safety car in use area, and which includes important safety information specific to the same craft type, such as brake Matsu, we have officially arrived in New York City. New York! Country number, I think <gasps> it's 32. I'm 32. losing track. <gasps> oh, we are so excited. <laughs> so we've picked up the bags. We are now going to try and get an air train to the train station and then try and find how to get the train into Manhattan City. Okay, so now we've arrived and we just need to find where to buy the ticket for the Long Island Railroad, which will take us straight into Manhattan. Who needs a taxi? <laughs> Okay, so for two tickets with the air train, it was $31 and now we are getting the Long Island Railroad to Manhattan. Track one. The train ride to Penn Station is 20 minutes. It only stops one. We're on the fast train. Superb. Everyone's super. <laughs> Everybody happy. is super friendly. So far, America, so good. Ice by the hotel, the New Yorker, right there, West 34th Street. Ooh! Nice! Look at this! I'm excited to see if we have a view! Do we have a view? That is the Empire State Building. That is, isn't it? I reckon that is. The bed is good, perfectly comfortable. A little desk to edit on there. Bathroom, shower, bathtub, toilet, sink. Happy, happy. You've got a bath. Amazing. Well, after that fabulous travel day, we are absolutely exhausted. We we're going to see you on the next episode where we explore New York. But if you want to see a really crazy travel day, check out this video where Google Maps kind of got it a bit wrong. <laughs>